at Speed Labs, a comedy podcast for people with short attention spans who don't know how to, uh... How could I have lost my ticket? That guy at the train station gave me my ticket and I got on. Then I fell asleep. Then I woke up. And now I can't find it in my pockets. It's not in my suitcase. It's not in the... Ticket. Ticket, please. Uh-oh. Tickets? Could I have your ticket, man? Uh, are you talking to me? Yeah. Do you have a ticket, ma'am? Why, wait a minute. Aren't you Professor Reed? I thought you work in the underground shovel store. I used to, but I quit selling shovels. Why? I didn't dig it. Yeah. If you're going to pull a joke that bad, the least you can do is let me write for free. I'm afraid I can't do that, ma'am. I need your stick ticket. Oh, well, here you are. Wait a minute. This is a ticket to the Jimi Hendrix concert, 1968. I know. Nice collector's item, isn't it? Look, it's autographed. Ma'am, I'm referring to your ticket to ride on this here train. Oh. Oh, a train ticket. Of course. Here. Thank you. Wait, this is for the train from London to Paris. You mean this train isn't going from London to Paris? I'm afraid not, ma'am. Then why are we in London now? We're not in London now, ma'am. Sure we are. See, there's Big Ben in the distance right out the window. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see anything out there. Ma'am, I admire your nerve, but considering you are in the bathroom, I don't know how far away from me you expect to get. Please come down from that thing. Oh, well, you see, I, I don't have my ticket. And you see, well, I'm, the reason I don't have my ticket is because, well, goodbye. <laughs> I have no idea how she fit down there. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid I'll have to take you to the engineer if you pull another stunt like that. Ah, right, don't worry about it. I'll pay her ticket. Here. Thank you. Hey, where did that cash register come from? I was keeping it in my pocket. Oh, I thought you were just happy to see me. Definitely not. By the way, how long until we reach Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh? Why, this train is headed for New Orleans. What? Do we know any kidnappers hiding in New Orleans, Ed? I don't think so. Then we better get out of here. Oh my goodness, we lose more passengers this way. Will Rose ever find her way to Pittsburgh? How does she end up on the train to New Orleans? Did the ticket seller deliberately give her the wrong ticket to throw her off the trail of the mysterious Freddy the Ferret? Will Lord Stitchington and <laughs> ever make it to Pittsburgh? Whatever became of Rose's carrier pigeon? Whatever became of the talking worm? For that matter, whatever became of me? How did I end up just being an announcer on a three-minute comedy show after spending four years studying philosophy at Harvard? Who will Tom ever come back with the mustard? Who will Natalia Clute? Finish reading War and Peace. Will the show ever make any sense? Tune into the next episode of Speed Laughs to find out. That was the 19th episode of Speed Laughs, a short podcast for short people with short attention spans written by Andrew Gilmore and featuring Andrew Gilmore, Joe McCann, and Amber Orion. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, who cares?